Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cooking by Approximation. Now, it's been a minute and we are in a new place, but um, I want to share with you guys a date night dessert. Now, being broke and being um, a college student, sometimes it's difficult to, you know, want to bring people over or date, like all of this stuff, especially when you don't really have a whole ton to work with, but... Um, if you, if with a little bit of grocery shopping and some very bare bones, basic, easy things to do, um, here's a good recipe. This is courtesy of Joshua Weissman, um, with a little bit of editing on my part. Um, he, uh, and, uh, it's going to be, we're going to be making what you see in the title, a, uh, sort of flaky pastry ice cream sandwich. Let's get started, shall we? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set your oven to 400 degrees and let that get there. Now, while that's going, have some of your uh, homemade Baja Blast. Uh, link in the time card that should be showing up right about now. And while that's going, you're going to want to get some puff pastry. Now, this is, I think, an Aldi's brand that my girlfriend picked up. Um, you can, Pillsbury is perfectly fine. Um, getting, honestly, one of the things you can do is, especially if you want to make it last a little longer, you can take the puff pastry, sorry, and cut it up into these little squares, which you would have to really do any day anyways. In a baking sheet with parchment paper, uh, I promise you, uh, if you haven't used parchment paper in your cooking before, or you don't want to, getting a roll of it will last you a long time, and honestly, it's better than having to spray pans with non-stick coating. It's one of the most versatile tools. It can go into the oven at a hot-ass temperature, and you don't have to worry about a fire breaking out. It's lovely. Spread your puff pastry out. Um, you can do multiple. I'm just doing one because I want the one for myself today. Uh, they should be about this big. They should be about, I don't know, four to five inches long, a couple and two and a half, three inches across. And these, and when you get sheets of puff pastry, you can cut them up into these and freeze them and lay it with, with parchment paper in layers like this. And every time you want one, you can just store it in a box and save it in your freezer. It's actually quite useful. If you are, your freezer is either going to be barren or packed to the brim. If it is packed to the brim, now would be a good time to get your ice cream out. Um, that way, even though this is working overtime, it's completely dethawed. Also, I'm going to be doing little strawberries here. Fro frozen strawberries, I prefer to go with this. You can also use chocolate syrup if you so prefer. All right. All righty. The uh, oven's at 400. We're going to take this, we're going to throw it into said oven for 15 minutes or until golden brown. So we are about approximately 10 minutes in and this is what they look like. Quite nice, really. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest, uh, you know, it really depends on whether you, uh, you start from frozen or you uh, start from um, uh, thawed. Mine was thawed. Uh, so about 10 minutes is perfectly fine. It's a, it looks like it's about to be close to there. I'll let it go for like maybe another minute or two just to make sure it gets that uh, solid. Um, you can really tell that it's uh, pretty good to go because you can see that split. That split you see with it is going to be what you're going to use to uh, make the little Sammy, right? So. Cool, good. So we are now at the point where the uh, this is done. Quite nice, really. Make sure to turn off your oven for my ADHD folks. God knows that I have failed morally with that. And what we're going to do is we are going to split this beautiful puff pastry in half, like so. We are going to put two dollops of ice cream on top and on top we are going to shit take one of these frozen strawberries which you can put these in for about 30 minutes you can literally put these in the freezer 
like as you start to preheat the oven and by the time they're out of the oven ready to go um these are they're frozen and what we're going to use is we're going to use a tool like this you don't have to use one of these zesting tools if you don't have them um you can use a um a grater like one of the these box graters here you're if you do use them you're going to want to use the thin side over here and if you don't have that and you just have a knife you can literally just take a you know any knife use this monstrosity and you can just sh scrape and shave off and if you're too lazy for that you can just cut it up on a cutting board and mince it and do it that way so what we're going to do is we're going to shave these uh, the little pieces of strawberry over top of the open-faced ice cream Sammy for the and don't be afraid to be generous uh, this is where you're gonna get like uh, your fruity sweetness this is gonna add like a better complex type of flavor to the uh, dessert to the point where you have a pastry that looks like this. At this point, you can just kind of close it up. So it's like a little Sammy. And eat it with a fork and knife. If you want to be extra, you can throw some more strawberry shavings on top. Why is it not pausing? Quality content, folks. But yeah. Anywho. And 